Hi guys, this is Cobra Tom, and I'm here to do the Snow Serpent. This is a 25th anniversary figure, and I really, since I got him, he is really, really cool. And he is loaded with accessories, let me tell you. This guy is, I can see why uh, this guy is such a fan favorite. And I will do a little quick brief um, explanation of why I have this. I picked up this gun thinking that this was his. And after doing that, I realized that I was wrong. That this gun belongs to Steel Raven. And I looked and I looked and I looked and I looked and I finally found it. Now it, you can see that it's clearly different. Um, but also kind of the same color, the clip and everything. So I was thinking maybe this is, oops, um, the gun, but it wasn't. So it took me forever to find this and I finally found it. So I'm gonna go over the, the figure's uh, accessories. And he came with a bunch of them. He came, we'll get him on, on here, with two very detailed and very nicely sculpted snowshoes. I'm going to hold those up to the camera. Very nice webbing, very nice detailing, foot pegs. The foot kind of goes into those little grooves there. It's very difficult to see. But there you go. Two cool, cool snowshoes. Like I said, this gun, which is an AKA-47, Russian gun. I know this is weird, but this is an actual accessory. And that goes, take off this guy's head and give him his furry accessory. And now he looks like he's ready for the snow. Next he comes with a backpack. With, no. Oop. Uh, these backpacks have different pegs than they used to have. Doing this in a different location. This is my my um, parents' garage. I here while laundry is being done because my water got shut off. Um, they're fixing something in the sewer system, so yeah, gotta make do. So here's the peg. It's different than it used to be. Here's the detailing. It's really nice, although it's kind of hard to see with this kind of grayish color, whitish gray, and then a mortar, and a bipod. He also comes with a figure stand. I don't, I didn't get it when I got the figure. That I think is kind of left up to the people's um, own thing, if that's an actual accessory or not. But I do, but I don't have it, so it's kind of a moot point. Now, this is really cool, because as you can see, this has got a nice peg there, right here. And that, if you did not know, connects to the peg on here. 
That you can see, I think, pretty good. Yeah. And depending on how you want the arm, I would think you maybe, well, at this point it doesn't really matter, but I think you want it up. Because if you're going to put them on the backpack, um, you're going to, see with this furry neck thing, it doesn't pig in very nicely. Although now I had a nice click there. Now it's actually staying in pretty good. So I think maybe I just um, wasn't pushing as hard as I should, I, I guess. Now, it's not an accessory, but what he is, aside from a mortar, a snow trooper, and an infantry trooper, he is also a parachuter. There's his really cool harness. I'm going to take off the backpack, although now I'm kind of wishing I hadn't, because <laughs> I got it on so nicely. But I'm going to take that off so that you guys can see his parachute pack in the front there. I'm assuming that he straps that on. I'm, I'm, I've always been a little curious about why it's in the front. And it pegs in the back. I don't have it pegged because my fingers are too fat to uh, peg them. So that's my own fault. Uh, but yes, he has a ton of really cool details. The, the parachute pack has some very nice details, some very nicely painted buckles and straps. He's got these uh, fur arm guards that make him, um, I'm sure keep him warm. On the inside, he has, and they are painted, so that's really nice. Strapping for the arm brace to keep him warm. The other side has that too. He's got a very nice cobra symbol on there. Uh, he's got padding, it looks like. Makes it look like he's wearing a big, thick suit. He's got his boots rolled down. Now, I'm only assuming you'd roll those down on the flight suit so that you didn't get snow in them. That would be the only thing I could think of. Or that's like galoshes or something and it's a boot cover. I, I, I really am not sure about that. Um, it, it, it doesn't look bad. It's just I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. And with these uh, newer figures... They've got much more articulation than the old ones. And it looks like the pockets are like two separate pieces that must have been like glued in. If you can see that, the pockets are really nice. Uh, he's got, which is covered up, but he does have some nice detail on his chest. I know it's kind of tough to see with that, but I, I, I think one of the coolest parts of this figure, and it's not showing up very nicely, is the helmet. This is one cool looking helmet. They give the illusion, this doesn't come down, which is sad, that doesn't come, that doesn't come down. But they do give like a side there, make it look like it could come down. I do kind of wish it would. He's got some really nice goggles there. He's got some nice striping on the top there. 
But the mask, the mask is really cool. Kind of a hockey mask, kind of, I, I'm not sure. But they've got it very nicely where you can see where it would be pegged on to the mask, or from the mask to the helmet. That's very nicely picked out. I like the ridges. I like the, uh, like, eye things being all covered up and stuff. I would think that they're, they're more like um, for the glare. Because I, I would think that the goggles could do this, the exact same as that. Or it could just be the mystique and make it look that much scarier when you see them. Um, I think that that's, that's usually Cobra's thing. Terrorism, intimidation, fear tactics. And this guy certainly fits the bill. He certainly looks like he'd be bad. So I, I'm not sure if in the eyes, even though he's got goggles, if the eyes are just unpainted, which is on this, it looks okay when you have a face mask and a full helmet. It doesn't look so bad. In fact, it would probably look worse if they actually had the eyes because they'd be so small. So I don't know if that was just a manufacturing idea or if he's supposed to be wearing um, coverings like sunglasses to make the snow glare go down. So this guy is, um, well, a, a fan favorite, I, I think. I, I'm pretty sure these guys fetch a fairly, a fairly nice price on the aftermarket. Um, I got mine sort of cheap, but he was still $20 and he wasn't even carded. I mean, he was just he was just the figure with all of his stuff except well except for the um figure stand well that gun isn't his either but you can see that he has a whole range of nice stuff and i think it's usable looks good and functional you can take this guy's, I'm going to put this guy's uh, wool, or uh, uh, um, fur lining. I'm sure that's to keep him warm. Now I will attempt to put these snowshoes on him. This is a bit of an arduous task before. I don't know if there's an actual left or right this is one of the weird figures that actually has two pegs on the bottom. But I was having a lot of trouble with him before keeping the peg or keeping his foot on the peg. That's something you might want to look out for is how well he stays on the peg. Uh, I, I've had them come off a couple of times. And you can put that because he can carry all of his accessories all at once and that is a really nice a really really nice thing so you can give him his backpack his gun his snowshoes and you can even clip the mortar on there now if you want to make him and that's one of the nice things about these figures. If you want to make him look like he's shooting off this mortar, with the extra articulation and the extra bends and stuff, you can really get him to look like he's going down and... and um, getting ready to fire this thing and getting ready to kind of keep this thing going. If I wasn't so clumsy, um, this probably would be much better. Uh, let's see. Yeah. 
you know, and you can give him, well, I can put that back on, although it's not gonna stay very well because of that, but um, you could give him really nice posability. He can be out just with his gun. He can be tracking or trudging through the snow with his boots or his snowshoes. You can kind of give him a cool, because you can kind of get him flat. You can get him into all kinds of poses with this. Um, firing poses. Um, make him look like he's like moving around and stuff. And I think that looks really good. I think that, um, well, if I could keep the backpack on, that would make it look all, all, all but nicer. Yeah, so. You know, with the snowshoes, that gives you a little bit because they do have this cool, they did think about that, I think, is that it's got this really nice curve in them. So it gives you bendability without having to have to um, wreck your snowshoes. And you can have him have his mortar, although I'm having a bit of, it's only because of my own fat fingers that, I'm having trouble with this. So I think he looks really cool. I see why he's a fan favorite. I see why so many people like him and so many people um, army build this guy. And I think that if he was given anything else, as it were, it would almost be too much. He's already got the mortar that clips onto the backpack. He's got the gun, he's got the snowshoes, he's got everything, and I just think anything more would be too much. And I don't think you could, I just, my one complaint, although you can't, he, it has to be in the front because of the backpack. I didn't think of that until now. But um, I do wish that that was in the back, and I do wish you could kinda, I don't know, switch it around, but this guy looks great. The painting is great. The color scheme is great. You've got that kind of cobra feel with the blue. You've got the red on him. But he doesn't look overly flashy. You could put him in the snow and he wouldn't. Even with the blue, I don't think he would stick out. Um, especially if it's a very bright and shiny um, day outside in the winter, the glare, I mean, that, that can happen to anybody. So this color scheme, even though it's got the blue, normally <laughs> blue on a figure is, tends to stand out, especially the Cobra Trooper and the Cobra Officer, they stick out. They are not very camouflaged. But with this, it's subdued enough that it would go work really well with winter ops but just gives him just enough color to make it interesting. So, well, thank you for watching. Uh, this is my review of the Snow Serpent. I apologize. Uh, I kind of got videos mixed up last week with putting the uh, undertow video up with the unboxing of the Snow Serpent. Probably none of you even noticed. It probably wasn't even that big of a deal. But um, I apologize for that, for those who are a little confused. And thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.